What's up guys, I need to do some rack management. Let's get started. Alright, so what I need to do is get my home PBX server into my cabinet here. Uh, but I have to make some space to get it in. And one of the things that right now is taking up a lot of space is that 17 inch Samsung monitor. Uh, what I'm going to plan on doing is removing that and replacing it with uh, something that I found on Craigslist that I'll show you in just a second that will make my life a lot easier and a lot more convenient as far as the rack goes. So let me show you what that is. Alright, so this is going to make my life a little easier as I try and organize my rack. Uh, this is a, a rack mounted console and it's uh, basically a slide out keyboard and monitor that fits in a 1U space uh, and it's made by Belkin. It's a model F1DC100P and um, it's a 15 inch monitor, keyboard, number pad and uh, touch pad mouse and uh, this is going to let me get rid of that monitor and save a lot of space. So once I get this in and connected uh, I'll show you what it looks like but it's um, you know I've been wanting this for a little while now and I was able to find uh, find it on Craigslist at a really nice price so I couldn't let it uh, let it go so I went and uh, picked it up and it's gonna make my life easier alright since I'm gonna be in here moving stuff around I might as well take advantage and clean up the uh, cabling uh, it's a little bit messy now and uh, I should just take the opportunity to make it look neater alright guys it may not look like it but I did move some cables around and actually made things a little bit more organized for myself uh, let me give you an updated tour uh, of the rack in my basement alright so not much has changed as far as equipment goes uh, up top is my Belkin uh, 24 port patch panel beneath that is my Cisco Catalyst 2950 uh, switch it's a 10100 switch underneath that is a Middle Atlantic Power PD915R it's just a uh, power strip that's rack mounted alright so here uh, there's a Netgear switch up in the top left there uh, the two lines in my office as well as my home server and those are plugged into there as well as a line that goes up to the catalyst switch the Cisco switch uh, top right is the cable modem that comes from my cable provider underneath is uh, an HP compact small form factor uh, Pentium 4 computer and that acts as my firewall that's running clear OS which um, I've been very very happy with uh, that also does my DNS and uh, it's a pretty nice piece of free software alright so next is the uh, TrendNet KVM switch that I have it's a TK-801R it's a 8 port KVM underneath that is the Belkin console that I just showed you and underneath that is the big red machine that's my home PBX server finally in the rack okay so next uh, up top is the uh, my Windows home server uh, I've got a handful of videos about this so I can uh, link those so you can check those out uh, underneath that is a Dell PowerEdge 1650 uh, I actually was using that as a test server to play around with the PBX software underneath that is a ProLiant uh, HP ProLiant DL380G3 uh, I have uh, ESXi server on that uh, I don't use it very often um, and last but not least is my APC Smart UPS 700 alright here's the side of the rack took the uh, panel off you see I've got my network cables routed on the side here and then they come down and then they get routed to the various servers that they plug into. Uh, that bundle of cables right there uh, are the cables that I use for a KVM and the only machines I have connected to the KVM are my uh, firewall 
so the uh, small form factor HP machine, the PBX server, and my home server. The Dell and the HP rack mounted servers I don't really need connected. Uh, they're not on all the time and when I do have them on I'm upstairs on my computer so I can get to those from there. And that's the side. And last but not least the back. Uh, very exciting. Here's the back of the uh, router. Uh, red line is coming from the cable modem and the green line is uh, going into the gigabit switch so that ends up being the uh, the line that feeds the rest of the house for internet back of the KVM back of the uh, PBX server home server and the uh, rack mounted server is there. Alright so let me show you how the console works. It's actually very convenient. So when it's not in use it's um, sitting in a one use space which is great and when I need it uh, that just slides out. And Let me adjust the camera a bit. Pop open the monitor and there you go. So whenever I need to take a look at the uh, servers that I have connected to it. Uh, all I have to do is uh, flip it up and away I go. Uh, this is way more convenient than having the um, monitor sitting in the rack and uh, saves a hell of a lot more space too. So I think this was a good, uh, good purchase. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So that's it everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.